I'm Mike Weaver, and this is Curbside Eats. I'm standing in a bike lane in North Hollywood. There's a metro station over there full of buses whizzing by. There's a bunch of parking lots. Not visually stunning, to say the least. What is that? What are we going to eat? We're going to eat lobster. Wicked. I love lobster rolls. I've eaten them in Maine. I've eaten them in Connecticut, Rhode Island. I've eaten them in Vermont, New Hampshire, and Manhattan. I've even eaten them in New Jersey. I was young. I've never eaten them in the valley. I'm going to today. So the lobster truck's been open for about an hour. Line has not let up. Longest line we've seen in any truck so far. Now, a big line needs a big crew. I failed math, but I think there's six of them back there. We're here with Justin Mee, who is the purveyor of Lobster Truck, and I understand it's a family affair, huh? Yeah, we got all the family working in the back. Who you got back here? Uh, my mom, my sister, my brother, my brother-in-law, oh, and a friend. Man, that is fantastic. <laughs> I wish I could put my folks to work like that. How'd you get into the uh, food business? Um, well, I was in the food business before. I worked for a seafood import exporter. Right. And then this came about after a summer trip to Maine. We hit up five, six different lobster shacks. You and gorge yourself on lobster. A ton of lobster rolls, yeah, a, yeah, bunch yeah. Of, a, bunch, a bunch of lobster. We came back, said there's nothing like it in LA. And we said, all right, we gotta open something that can bring those to Angelinos, and then here we are. That's it. So where did you source, where do you actually get the lobster? Is it um, it's all up and down the New England coast. Uh, they right. actually, um, the guys we get it from obviously work with a lot of the lobster men. Distributors, right, okay. So they get it for us and then we source from them and they help us ship it over on, on airplane two, three times a week. What about the rolls? The rolls, um, it's a baker up, up in Maine. Yeah. Um, and yeah, we, we try to do it locally. <laughs> Um, called around to try and get some guys to make it and it didn't work out, so then we had to call it. This wasn't the taste. Yeah, I mean, you need that, you know, melt yeah. in your mouth roll. Yeah. That roll, I think, makes the sandwich. Yeah, yeah. It is. If you use like just a regular, hey, it's the size of a hot dog, it pretty Matthew. much is a hot dog bun. It's called, a, well, some people just call it, refer to it as a New England hot dog bun. Yeah, yeah. But uh, if you don't have that, you just a regular hot dog bun. We even tried to use brioche. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't the same way. Is that right? Brioche would be the closest thing, yeah, you think? We, it, I think it's part part of the uh, vanguard here is that it's the sort of second generation of food truck because it is so specific. A lot of them to begin with were, you know, they offer a big menu and a lot of different things. Now this is just keying on one regional treat yeah. and I, I, I can't see it going bad for you. I mean, it's just so, the lobsters is such a fantastic delicacy. Yeah, we can't believe the turnout we've been getting. Is, is it Twitter? Is it, is we it do, Facebook and all that? I think it's everything. We've gotten, um, we've gotten great uh, fans on Twitter and Facebook, they've right. all tweeted about it, all their right. friends have picked up on it. The lobster is like some sort of uh, Spanish fly to people or something, it's <laughs> bizarre. <laughs> So here it is, Lobster Truck's main attraction. You see that little, little pun there? <laughs> it's a lobster roll. If you're not familiar, it does come in two shapes, two sizes. One with butter, one with mayo. This one has butter by the smell of it. It's fantastic. Actually, that particular one is known as a Connecticut lobster roll, as opposed to the more popular New England roll. I want to get into it. <laughs> the roll is stunning. You'd think it would be a, a bit part in this movie, but man, that is just as succulent as it gets, but not too rich, which I like about it. And it's simple. Not a ton of salt or pepper. It's such a beautiful taste, such great flavor. You don't need all that stuff. That's a little taste of New England, man. I'm Mike Weaver for Curbside Eats. Wherever there's a meal on four wheels, you're gonna find me. And a bunch of dead shellfish carcasses. Ah.